Hey guys, what's up? Chris Coleman for another video. This video uh, will be a global video. I will talk about all my product, all the version drive available, um, uh, every type of drive I offer. I will talk about the game list. I will talk about the spec minimum, uh, any, uh, the type of PC you can plug it, where you can find your answer, uh, because for the past three or four years, people always have the same question. So I say, oh, I'm going to do a video. I'm going to explain uh, all the spec, the game list, where to find your answer, how my site works, how, how my Discord works, how you can find your answer. Um, and at the end of the video, I will answer the most uh, common uh, problem you will have with PC or booting retro bees. Uh, usually it's a very easy fix. Uh, it's just about your PC, you need to uh, fix some stuff. It takes two minutes, I will explain that. All right. So I have on my store a one terabyte, a two terabyte, a four terabyte, and a 16 terabyte. Uh, the mini version of retro bees all those drives I'm going to show you today, they all run the RetroBeast. It's based on CoinUp. Uh, they all have almost the same installation process. Some are a little bit longer than others. They all share the, almost the same emulator. So everything I'm going to talk to today apply to the one terabyte, the two terabyte, the four terabyte, and the 16 terabyte. Okay. So any troubleshoot or PC spec or whatever uh, will apply on all those projects. So the one terabyte I have, it's the mini retro bees with the best of the best. It come, it's a SD card, a SanDisk original SD card. Uh, it come with a micro uh, adapter, a case, a manual, some sticker. And there is one version, only one terabyte SD card, there is no other choice, okay? Uh, to plug it, usually your ASUS Ally or 1X player uh, laptop uh, will have a SD card slot, all right? If it doesn't have a SD card slot to insert the SD card, you can buy an adapter on Amazon, choose a uh, very simple to choose, just choose a one that use 3.0, USB 3.0. So that's a USB, you insert your SD card, and you can use it on your USB. Uh, like the ASUS Ally, it doesn't have a USB, I think. I don't remember. Anyway, if you want to use the Type-C port on your uh, handheld, same thing, search Google for... Um, uh, SD card adapter uh, to type C and choose a, a quality one and a 3.0 version or 3.1 but usually the type C should be 3.1 so you answer your SD card you put it on your device and it should work all right by the way all the drive I'm gonna talk today uh, you can plug the drive when your PC is uh, on but you never remove uh, a, a drive when your PC is on. You never uh, unplug a drive, a beast drive, when your PC is on. You will corrupt it. You need to eject it. And if it doesn't want to eject, you shut down your PC and after you remove it. All right? And it's also good to power off before plugging it, but you can always plug in uh, a drive or SD card when it's power on, but never uh, remove it when it's power on. Okay, so that's the SD card. It's one version. You can buy some adapter. It will work uh, on any handheld. It would work on any laptop. Uh, I will talk about the spec a little bit later, where to find it. But mostly this SD card will work on laptop. Um, uh, all the SSLI, the new Legion Go, One X, name it. Uh, very easy to use, plug everywhere, all right? 
after we have the uh, two, uh, the f sorry, the two terabyte, the two terabyte light gun. All right, the two terabyte light gun come in four uh, version. You have the ex external SSD. All right, very lightweight, very small, very durable, very fast. Uh, I suggest that's the best format for the two terabyte. It's amazing. It's a USB, uh, USB. You can plug it uh, uh, on your PC. Uh, very easy, very, very easy. After, I offer the internal uh, 2.5 drive if you want to plug it internally in your drive. Okay, you need to shut down your PC. And there is the uh, SATA, and uh, SATA and power. Uh, so that's a drive I offer if you want to plug it internally in your drive. It's a mechanical drive 2.5. After, if you want a faster uh, drive, I offer the SSD. It's another internal, 2.5 uh, uh, size, the same size as this one, but it's a SSD, right? It's faster, it's lightweight, very good. After I offer the external one, the most popular one, it's a mechanical uh, 2.5 drive from Seagate, brand new. We have the, you have the cable, the USB. That's a portable one you can use on your uh, PC. Uh, after four terabytes, same story. I offer, that's, this one is expensive. Uh, because more you go bigger on SSD, it's very expensive. So the 4 terabyte, uh, it's offer external SSD, brand new uh, SanDisk, very lightweight, a little bit bigger than the 2 terabyte, but uh, durable, very fast, uh, external SSD. After you have the internal, if you want, that's a mechanical, it's not a 3.5 or 2.5, I don't remember. It's a little bit, it's a 2.5, uh, but thicker. Same thing, you plug it internally in your PC, SATA and uh, data and power internally in your PC, if you want. Also, the most popular one is the external Seagate, portable Seagate. USB that you can plug in externally on any uh, PC, it's portable. So that's the, so we talk about the SD card, we talk about the two terabyte. Oh, also I offer the uh, internal also, it's right at two terabyte, but uh, I have the four terabyte internal SSD, okay? This one is also expensive because more you go bigger on SSD size, more it's expensive. So I offer a four terabyte internal SSD if you want. It's faster. When I say faster, uh, I mean the booting will be faster, okay? So the communication from your PC to the SSD will be faster. But you, the game may boot faster. Everything will boot faster. But uh, to not be confused, you will not get any performance. So if you play a PS2 game, you're not going to get a better performance on playing emulator. Okay? It's about communication and booting time. That's what is faster. All right? After that, we have the uh, 16 terabyte, the big retro beast. Okay? It's a 112 uh, terabyte. So it's seven. To, uh, if you want the global, the the global uh, uh, RetroBeast 112, it's seven times uh, 16 terabyte. Okay, it's an internal 3.5 mechanical drive that you can plug internally in your uh, power and SATA. Right, internally, you power off your PC, you just plug your uh, uh, power and you plug your communication uh, SATA and you power on your PC and the drive will appear on your PC, okay? 
So there is no other version than this one, okay? And there is two ways to plug it. If you have a big PC with enough SATA port and power, you can plug, uh, if you buy one drive, two drive, you can buy three drive, you can buy, uh, you can buy any amount of drive from the 112, okay? The most important one is the D drive. You need the D drive at, at first. After, you can choose uh, any other drive in any order, all right? Any order. So I have the D, E, O, P, Q, R, S drive. So your first drive is the D. After, you can buy uh, O and P, or you can buy R. Uh, you can buy any drive in any order. <coughs> the S drive, before I forget, the S drive for the next year, it's only for Patreon. Because I update it every month and Patreon will have the update on the S drive, all the new game and all the new uh, Switch game and PC game. Uh, if you're not Patreon, you can buy the S drive, but at the end of the year, when it's going to be around 80-90% full, and then you will have a free update on the drive. But for now, until the end of the year, it's only for Patreon. So if you're on the S drive, you need to be any tier Patreon on my Patreon site, and you get access to the S drive. Okay, let's continue with the, the drive. Uh, the most common question about the, uh, the drive is, um, people ask, they ask me, uh, if they really need to plug the D drive internally. No, you can use it externally. Because on my old video, I used to say, uh, oh, it's better to plug the D drive internally. It's still the same, it's better to plug the... Any drive is better to plug it internally. It's faster, uh, it doesn't deal with the USB, but externally, it's fine. It, it works really great. I did test it. I have all my drive. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you because my B is right there. I have all my drive for the past two months. My D, E, O, P, Q, R, S are external. I have one cable connected to my PC and it works no problem. By the way, that's a Sabron I offer. That's a Sabron 10B. Okay? If you have your own drive plus the retro Bs, you can buy, you, you're not in the obligation to buy this from my store. You can buy it on Amazon if you want. But I can ship a Sabron. It's a 10B with uh, 112. All my drives are external and I have no problem whatsoever. Okay? Not so ever. It works perfectly. But I suggest, if you have a big PC and you have space inside, I suggest to plug the D drive, the master one, because the D drive has all the emulator. The D drive, when you play, runs all the time, okay? So I suggest to plug the D drive internally in, in your PC. You will have better booting time, not better performance on game, but booting time. But if you don't have space inside your PC, or you don't want, or you don't know, it's very fine, it's okay to plug it, the D drive and all other drive can be externally, as long as you have a, a good product, a good external drive, like Orico or Sabron. If you buy a, a use from, a, <laughs> if you buy a use, a, whatever, external drive bay or a, something uh, that is not so popular, uh, you may have problems. So what's important is usually Sabron are really good, Orico are really good, I don't have any problem. I use Orico for the past uh, three years and I swap to the Sabron. I think the Sabron, it's even better. It's expensive. It's almost uh, in Canadian, so it's, it's 500, 600 something. It's very expensive, but you need to pay quality if you want to keep your drive uh, in good shape and have a good experience for gaming, right? So Sabron 10 is the best. After, if you buy if you want to buy a less drive, let's say you, want, you only want a D, 
the D drive and E drive. You can buy a Rico. It's a Rico 2 bay. Um, also, uh, Arico 5B, okay? There is two versions of this Arico on uh, Amazon. There is the 3.1 USB with a Type-C on the back, and there is the 3.0 USB. Both of them works, no problem. It's just to, they have two versions, all right? But both of them works. Even uh, the 3.0 USB is not faster than the 3.1 anyway. I find that both of them works perfectly. All right? So to resume, and also you can buy, if you want to buy just my D drive, you can buy Arico uh, 1B also. And all those options, the 2B, the 1B, the 5B, the 10B are available on my store if you want. And you can buy it from Amazon if you want. So that's the 16 terabyte, uh, yeah. Available. So I talk about all the projects, the 16, I have the 2 terabyte, all the version, the 4 terabyte, and the 1 terabyte. Now I'm going to talk about PC spec. Um, PC spec. If you go to my site, sorry for the reflection, I'm filming during the day. Uh, Let's just minimize. Can I? No, I cannot. Okay, if you go to my site for all the PC spec, if you go on the main page, usually if you go on my main page, all the spec are write at the bottom on, the, on my main page. Okay, I write it everywhere so people, there is no excuse, you're not going to find it. So on the main page on my site, if you go down, I say hi and welcome, okay? I explain everything. Uh, all the products are free shipping, okay? In Canada and US, I will charge a little bit extra for uh, other countries in Europe, Australia. Uh, Sometimes it can be ranged from uh, 40 bucks, 50 bucks, 60 bucks, depends on the size, the amount of drive. But if, if you want to see the price of the shipping, I'm going to show you a trick. Just buy, just click on the product you want to buy, add it to your card, okay? You don't have to pay to see it. Just add the product to the, your card and add your address and you will see the shipping cost, okay? On the card without paying for it. Um, also, I do not charge any any tax, I'm not allowed to charge any tax. All right, I declare 100 bucks. Everywhere I ship on the earth, I declare 100 bucks for custom, whatever the product I ship, I declare 100 and I do not charge. So when you buy a product from my site, I do not charge any tax. So if your country are charging tax for 100 product value, uh, you know that uh, I declare 100. So you, you need to know what's your country. Because I know uh, in Spain and France they charge a fee or tax for 100 bucks value, but for any other country uh, it doesn't charge. Okay. The most common question are answer on my main page. Okay. The most common. Uh, I'm not going to read it on the video, but the most common question. Uh, some people, they ask me, can I plug the drive to my TV? No, you need a PC, okay? I have this question every week. Can I plug your drive to my TV? Can I plug the drive to my TV? Can I plug your... No, you need a PC, all right? So all the common questions are there. After, you have all the spec minimum for the SD card, okay? SD card work almost on any kind type of PC, okay? Uh, uh, until you have a freaking old potato, uh, uh, 20 years old PC is not going to work, but mostly any uh, common old and new PC will work, right? After I add the spec for the 2 terabyte, 4 terabyte, 16 terabyte, 112 terabyte, they all share the same spec. Uh, as soon as you buy a 2 terabyte, a 4 terabyte, a 16 terabyte, or the full 112 terabyte, you need a GPU. You need a dedicated GPU 
Why? Because all the Techno Pirate and some PC game and some PS3 and some Xbox 360, uh, maybe some Switch, need a dedicated GPU, not a RPU. Okay? So mean any laptop that doesn't have a real GPU, any handheld that doesn't have a real GPU will work for all the retro gaming on my drive. But the problem is as soon as you're going to play um, uh, Techno Pirate or you're going to play PS3 or Xbox, in some game you will have problem on any PC, laptop, handheld that do not have a GPU, okay? It's called a RPU, the, the microchip with a... They says there is a GPU, but it's not a GPU, it's a, it's a RPU, okay? So to be clear, to have a 100% great experience on all my projects beside the one terabyte, you need a real GPU now, okay? That's the minimum you need. If you want to make it work on your laptop or handheld that doesn't have a GPU, you will run mostly 90, 95% of the game, but you will be stuck at some point in some demand uh, high-end uh, emulator and game, okay? That's the, the, the main point I want to uh, talk about, okay? After, if you read it, I have the CPU, uh, for Ryzen, it's explained the minimum you need and the Intel CPU you need, the minimum is explained. The GPU minimum is explained for uh, NVIDIA and AMD, all right? The minimum RAM and the motherboard, right? So it's all explained there. After, if you click on any product, one terabyte, two terabyte, 16 terabyte, whatever, let's choose any, all the spec minimum is in the description. If you click on it, see, spec minimum, it's all write it in the description. After, if you go to Discord, because I invite you to join the Discord, there is a Discord button on top of my site, at the bottom of my site. Uh, when you text me in the chat, I send you the link of Discord. So you click on Discord, you accept. Oh, it's going to open the, uh, wait a second. OK. OK, so you will be join Discord. OK. When you join the Discord, mostly 80% of all my Discord will be locked. You're not going to be able to see it. You need to buy a product, all right? So if you just want to uh, talk to us or uh, uh, read the feedback or read the playlist, everything will be unlocked, okay? You will have a chat that is unlocked at the bottom. You can ask questions. And before asking questions, um, you need to real, uh, read the rules, okay? On my Discord. If you read the rules, um, I say you never private text me, okay, on Discord. You only private text me if you need to unlock, if you buy a product and you need to unlock, you need to give me your name and uh, order number so I will unlock all the beast Discord. Also, if you need to have your Syncovery update profiles, you private text me because any private information you need to private text me so uh, not people will see your private information that's normal but beside that any question or support you need to go at the discord at the bottom on the chat chat guest if you are a guest uh, as soon as you're going to be unlocked and you buy a product you will have the chat unlock ask for problem but before asking question because people doesn't like to read uh, so, you will have, on my Discord, I have a section named Game List for the 100, 112 uh, terabyte, the Game List for the 4 terabyte, Game List for the 1 terabyte, uh, Game List for the Light Gun, okay? Talking about Game List, any complete system 
that has a, a complete ROM set doesn't have a game list. It doesn't make sense to create a game list for a system that has all the game available, all right? If there is a game list, it's because the system is not complete. Uh, example, on the one terabyte, it's impossible to add all the system complete, so there is some game list. Four terabytes, same thing. On the 112 terabyte, every system is complete. I will provide the list for PC game, maybe for Switch, but that's it. All other systems are complete. Okay? So the game list can be accessible on the Discord game list section. All right? Uh, talking about Discord, uh, people ask often questions about the update. They don't know uh, which update and when and how. I have a section. Uh, it's the log and report. So every month I do a video and I do a log for every update I do every month and which date is going to be available. So it's right there. You click on it, everything is explained. Uh, after I have a section control. So for any questions, uh, uh, sometimes people say, oh, I do I save my game? How do I quit? I say, just read it. It's just right there. How to control. Everything is explained, okay? And also, you have a wiki on your drive. Any drive, the one terabyte, the two terabyte, the three, uh, four terabyte, and 16 terabyte, you have a wiki. All right? If you click on your D drive, you should have a wiki with all information uh, about fixing, fixing stuff, all the controller, the installation, everything is on your D drive wiki for every drive I sell. Okay? So if you do, do not join the Discord, but you have the wiki on your drive. All right? After in the Discord, you have a section dedicated for light gun. Fix uh, any information for any gun, the pedal, everything is explained very well and so on and so on for VR, second screen, and uh, there is a ton, a ton. So take time to read before asking questions. And the most important part is the fix. I have a big fix section, okay? I have a fix section. If you have problem with the installation, there is an installation. All the problem has been resolved. So you just go on, let's say uh, you have problem with installation. You go to fix installation, everything is explained. I have some video, uh, sync recovery if you have problem, everything is explained. Okay, the most common fix that people has when installing the sync recovery and so on and so on. Fix your PC, fix game, fix time, no pirate, uh, and so on and so on. Okay, it's, so my Discord is very, very complete. All right, so the spec minimum, the game list, also the game list is accessible from my site. If you go on any uh, these one terabyte, because I have a listing and I have a page. So let's jump, let's say on these two terabyte. On any page, on any product, if you scroll down, I have a game list, all right? See, there is a game list. There is a game list for the four terabyte. There is a game list. By the way, I suggest if you want to read like the 112 game list, it's better to go on my site. It's very well uh, written with color, see? So there is a game list for the 112. I explain everything, every drive, as uh, all the detail, which system is included on the D, E, O, P, Q, R, and S. Everything is explained, okay? It's a long list, but everything is there. If you need a little bit more detail, like the PC game list, I'm not going to write 2,000, uh, 3,000 uh, uh, PC game on my site, or I'm not going to write uh, 7,000 Switch game. So you click on game list if you don't want to join the Discord. And here we go. You have the, the, the game list, uh, the switch for Q and R. If you wonder which switch game is on the Q, which uh, switch game is on the R, which PC game is on the, the P, which PC game is on the R, 
uh, which PC game is on the S, so you have more detail on my OneDrive. Okay? Okay, let's talk now about the most common problem to finish the video. So now you know on my product, you know how to find your answer on my site, you know how to join Discord and find your answer. Let's talk about uh, the most common problem people have when installing any of my drive. Let's quit the ritual bees. It's very easy, the most common problem people have, it's always about display. It's always about the, your screen ratio, resolution, frame rate, second screen. It's always like that. When people boot a game, uh, it's always the same problem. So when I remove play, uh, some people to help them after they, they cannot, I always find, you right click on your desktop, if you have problem running RetroBeast or any game, right click, go on display, I'm on the system display, and try that. First, disconnect any second screen, first, just to, to make sure, uh, unplug any second screen. After, set your display, uh, usually if you have a 4K TV, if you set it to 4K, everything's going to work. Again, it's going to be some Techno Pirate and some PC game. You will have to set your uh, resolution 1920 to 1080. Okay? Mostly it's for Techno Pirate and some PC game and maybe some emulator. It's better 1080p. I play on my beast. I have a 4K TV and I set it to 1080p and I get used to it, seriously. So mostly if you have a, the best experience, set it to 1080p, okay? You can sw switch back to 4K if you want, but if you have a problem with some game, switch back to 1080p, and sometimes some Techno Pirate, you need to switch even further to 720p, okay? I gave you my, my tip and trick, okay? So you set it to 1080p. Hope you can see it. After another most common problem, you click on advance. Below, down on display, it will be an advance. It's hidden. You will see your arts. That's the most common problem, okay? Retro arch and a ton of emulator. If you have your system running below 60, like 30, I guarantee no game will boot on Ritual Beast, okay? Um, the problem, why it's on 30 on your setup, it's because window is stupid. It doesn't de detect your TV or monitor properly. You need to set it manually, okay? You can go higher than 60, like mine is 120. But again, some Techno Pirate and some uh, PC game, maybe some emulator, will have some problem if you put higher than 60. Mostly, if you, put, if you play at 120 Hz, mostly all emulator will work. Again, it's the Techno Pirate and some PC games. So I suggest to put it at 60 Hz, okay? Just play with it. If you have a problem playing game, just switch back to 60 to 120 and nothing below 60, all right? And that will fix your most common problem. So display, you unplug all your second screen first. You set at 1080p, you set at 60. If it doesn't work, just play around with some uh, other setting and it should work. Also, your uh, usually window will set your scale at 300 or something stupid. Uh, you can lower it, by the way. It always says recommended or some application would not work. That's bullshit. Uh, I always low my scale, okay? So, uh, if you have problem, play also with the scale. That's it. That's for the, the most common uh, problem people have on booting game. It's always a display uh, uh, resolution problem on the PC. Uh, also, another problem, people, uh, if you have a switch and we, uh, we bar, when you play with the uh, Xbox, 
game, you always unplug your Wii bar. The Wii bar needs to be off when you're not using it. It will, uh, uh, it will, uh, your Xbox will not work on any game if your Wii bar is open. Uh, that's another problem sometimes people have. Okay, the installation. I, I'm going to show you the installation. It's very, very easy. On any drive, installation is very easy. Okay, guys? That's the installation part. When you plug my 1 terabyte, the 2 terabyte, the 4 terabyte, the 16 terabyte the first time on your PC, it's normal. Your window will give uh, the drive a random letter. Okay? That's normal. Okay? So, the first step when you plug any of my product, you right click, oh, can you see it? You right click your window uh, at the bottom taskbar, you go to Disk Manager. Okay? You go to Disk Manager. It's very, very easy. All my drive I'm selling when you plug it, all my drive. I write the letters on the title, okay? Like my D drive, it's, it's named RB5 base D. It, it's the name, or it's the way I write it. So my E drive is named E, O, P, Q, R, S, okay? So you need to match like S, C, S is set to S, Q is set to Q, O, O, E, E, uh, F is F, D is D. Right? P is P, R is R, okay? E is E, and so on. So what you do, if you see like a D is E, and E is F, and a R is P, so you go to this manager, and you start, and you fix it. You right click, change drive, change, and you select the proper letters, and you click OK. If the letter, oops, sorry, you right click, I repeat, you right click the drive that doesn't have the, the proper letter, change drive, change, change, like the D need to be D, you click D, you click OK and OK, okay? If the letters you want to change is not available, it's because another drive is using it. So go back to the other drive and change it to any other uh, random letter is available. Go back to your D drive and your D drive will be available. Okay, and so on. And you do that until all the drive is set properly. All right. Second step. Second step. Very important. Now your drive has the proper letters. You will go, you right click again here. You go to security setting. I cannot minimize. Okay. You go to private security. After you go on top, window security, virus and thread is going to open another page. You go down here, manage setting. Yeah, it's a long path, but, uh, and after you go down, you need to find add and remove exclusion. All right? Like for my example, I did exclude all my drive on my RetroB. So what that means is I want window to do not scan any of my product drive to be scanned for virus of uh, stuff like that. Because what's going to happen if you don't do that? You're going to play a few games. As soon as you're going to boot a game that is a crack or a modded to, to boot on emulator like PC game, it will remove the some DLL is going to find some false virus. It's not a real virus. Nothing on my drive will harm your PC, I guarantee. Okay? 100%. Okay? So, to make sure all the game works, all the system works, you need to add an exception drive to the window security. And to do that, you click Add Exclusion because you're not going to have those later. You say Add. Add folder, and you do all the RetroBase drive that you have. So in my example, I have seven drive plus the F drive. 
I need to do it for the D, E, O, P, Q, D, R, uh, R and S, and F. So you do D, you click select folder, and the D will appear. And you do that for every uh, folder. If you have the one terabyte, you will have only the D and uh, the D. And if you have the, the two terabyte, you will have the D and R. If you have the uh, four terabyte, you will have the D and F. So simple as that. So that's the second step. Third step, you open your wiki on D drive. And you do the one-click installation, it takes two minutes. You go to D, Wiki, Window, Click, Installation. There is a bad files process, number three. So you read that step one, okay? I explain everything, I explain. Uh, it's right there on the, 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 the PDF. I explain everything. Set your drive, remove security. I have a video also. There is a video you can watch. And step three, you double click it. And, and you move on. Okay, if you have any problem or some application doesn't want to install whatever the reason, just cancel it and move on. <coughs> Not a big deal. So like mine is already installed, so I shut it down. I don't want to repair or uninstall. You need uh, because I did the installation already, so I quit it. I can't quit, everything is installed, but usually install, yes. Uh, need to close it, you need to close it. If you don't see any pop-up, go on your taskbar, something should be open. Sometime, uh, something is on your... Uh, your taskbar, but usually you should have a pop-up. So you cl just click yes, click yes, 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 yes. After it's gonna become automatically. At some point, you don't need to click anything. Everything will be automated. Now he's installing all the gaming driver that it's not installed on your PC because nobody buy a PC that is already uh, gaming, very rare. You will have a PC all set up for gaming. That's the same driver when you buy a game on Steam. It will install some uh, gaming driver on the background. It's the same thing. So you need to do that to make sure all game works properly. It's not going to be long. It's installing a bunch. So if you need to uh, finish, you click it. Like this one, you click OK, OK. I think it's almost finished. It's going to install a uh, 7-zip. Uh, accept, click, next, next, next. I don't want to launch it. Finish, next, agree. Almost finish. Now he's doing another automate uh, uh, gaming process installation. Oh, almost finish. Install 7-zip. It's going to open a window now for your GPU. If you have an AMD dedicated GPU, NVIDIA, it will open a page with the link. Because some people, that they have a GPU, but they don't have the driver. You need your GPU driver. Okay? If it's up to date, forget it. Forget this page, close it. But uh, if you have an NVIDIA, you click NVIDIA, you go on the site, you download the NVIDIA driver. AMD, you go there, you in, uh, install it. And Intel, it's for your uh, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth and stuff like that. It's optional if you want. Or if you have a GPU Intel or something Intel, just go there, all right? Just to help you find the link. You can close the page, it's finished. That's it, you're, you're ready to play uh, Ritual Beast. So, so first step, you plug the drive, you change the drive later. Second step, remove security. Step three, do the one-click installation, two minutes. And by the way, that was on the big 16, 112 terabyte. It took like two minutes. That's it, you can close it. Now, after the installation, what's wonderful, you will have some icon on the desktop. The wiki folder for any information, how to play, uh, all information is in the wiki and you will have the RetroBeats shortcut on your desktop. 
uh, if you reboot your PC, you will have the wallpaper engine running on the background. Okay. By the way, wallpaper engine sleep when you play. Uh, it doesn't take any uh, CPU or GPU resource when you play. Okay. Uh, it's running when you are on the desktop mode, but as soon as you have something for screen, uh, it frees, okay? By the way, wallpaper. And you have the mini launcher on top with all your controller connected will show on top. So if I click uh, the mini uh, launcher on the desktop, and it's good to, after all this installation I'm showing you and everything, it's good to reboot your PC. Uh, you have some basic shortcut, uh, big box, retro beast, hyperspin, uh, big box, launch box, uh, the new beast search and setting. Okay, you, that can be controlled from your Xbox. So I'm going to show you. Ah, oh, it's not open. Anyway, on the desktop mode, if you press start, it will open this. So why I create this launcher is because if you have an Xbox, you don't have any keyboard near you, you can launch RetroBees by pressing start, right? If you press start, this, this is going to open. And with the Xbox, you can scroll and choose the, your uh, launcher and boot it, right? So that's smart. Um, that's it. After you have the launcher, you can copy it on your uh, taskbar if you want. If you want to boot RetroBees from your taskbar, so you just, uh, I think if you, if you drag it, it can be copy or uh, something like that, but anyway. So on any one terabyte, two terabyte, four terabyte, 16 terabyte, you will have those icons on the line. So you just double click it and your RetroBees will boot. And if you follow all my tips, all installation, all trick, everything will work perfectly. If you have any problem, just uh, go on the fix section, read uh, a few sections. If you don't find your answer, uh, that is very rare, uh, you can ask on the Discord chat and we can help you, okay? Uh, we offer, we can remotely, well, I thought, because people are confused about remote, people think that uh, they buy a drive, they plug the drive, I'm gonna remote, remote, remote their PC and I'm gonna do everything for them. That's not true, that's not the way. Because you need to learn how it works, you need to, to be able to fix your stuff and install your stuff, okay? You need to have an understanding. Some people, they say, oh, I don't have time to, uh, to do this or to that. Yeah, but they have time to play, but they don't have time, you know, to do the installation and everything. We're not there to do your installation. We're not there uh, to fix because uh, the most common problem has been fixed. You just need to read and to understand your PC and fix it. We're gonna remote it. If you did try a lot and you didn't, it didn't really works. We can remote your PC and fix it. But usually, when I remote people PC, it's amazing. It takes two seconds to fix. It's just because. I don't know, they, they don't want to learn how a PC works or stuff like that. Sometimes it's amazing. But uh, like I said, everything is explained on Discord. We have people to help you. We can answer your question. Uh, we have a big wiki. Everything is well explained on my site. It's just take the time uh, to scroll my site, to scroll the, the Discord. Because RetroBeast is a big system. Uh, it works. Amazing, it's, it's, and usually the, the big problem is people do not have a gaming PC, okay? And when people says my drive is not uh, plug and play, but that's not true. It's their PC that it's not plug and play. Because my PC, everything works. On my drive, everything works. It's because sadly Microsoft or uh, they are manufacturer <laughs> they, they, they don't sell a plug and play PC, okay? Microsoft should uh, create a, a window for gamer, you know, that you install the window, you have all the driver, everything is, you know, set, you have the menu, you have uh, the gaming setting, you know, and stuff to help people having a great experience. But sadly, window, when you install a fresh window installation, 
or you buy a brand new laptop or a device, usually it's not gaming ready, all right? So that's why there is a ton of, a ton. There is a 15 minutes process to do for the installation, okay? It's impossible to buy a drive plug and play that's for gaming that's gonna run on a regular PC, okay? There is no such as a plug and play drive. It's impossible because your PC, it's not ready for gaming. That's the difference, all right? Uh, only for exception like Asus Li, you know, uh, device uh, for gaming like Asus Li or uh, Legion Go and name it, one and play, one at, one X player. Usually they are ready for gaming. Usually those devices are they have the usually they have the driver to run the game and everything. So it's easier on portable device because usually they make it for, uh, uh, oh yeah, another, just uh, something I want to say. On, I don't have my Asus Li, but some people, they have problems. They say, oh, I plug your SD card on my Asus or One X player, whatever. The controller doesn't work. Okay, guys, there is a button menu, okay? When you press uh, on the Asus, there is, a, which one is? You have a... Like on the ASUS, you have two buttons, uh, right and, uh, right and uh, left. There is a pop-up, okay, a window that's going to appear on top of whatever you are on. Uh, you can change the control, uh, FPS, and stuff like that. On the control tab, there is three functions, uh, usually on any handheld. Keyboard, gamepad, and automatic. When you play RetroBees, you put it in gamepad mode. You need to put your uh, ASUS Li or whatever and hell in gamepad mode. If you put it auto or keyboard, of course, your controller will not work. <laughs> so that's it, guys. That's all the product. One terabyte, badass one terabyte, uh, two, two te uh, four terabyte, uh, portable drive, two terabyte light gun drive, portable. Uh, and the 16 terabyte up to 112 guys <laughs> thanks for watching I just want to do a video with explaining a little bit about uh, all the drive all the common question uh, people having problem and stuff like that and it's always always the same problem p people have or don't understand it's always the same question so I did this video so People can find the game list, spec minimum, the most common questions are answered on the top, the, my main page. You can join Discord. Uh, we have also the same question and same answer already write it. You can read. Uh, we have a chat to help you. And it's fun. RetroBee is amazing. Uh, it's the most complex system in the world and it works perfectly. And don't worry, any problem you have, uh, I know I repeat myself, but everything has been fixed so far. After four years, uh, there, is, there is no reason RetroBeast will not work uh, on mostly any system, okay? But you need a GPU, okay? Don't buy a... I'm telling you, if you buy a mini PC, it, they are powerful, they are amazing. Mini PC are amazing, but... If you play Techno Pirate and some PC game and some Xbox 360 or uh, PS3, you will have some bottom bottom neck at some point. For Super NES, PS1 and stuff like that, uh, a mini PC or laptop, it's a, no problem at all. Okay. Uh, oh, sorry, I forget. Usually, I have a ton of people with a mini laptop, they buy a whatever, Best Buy. A, when you buy a laptop or mini PC, it comes with the stupid Norton antivirus. People don't know why it's there. They don't want to know why it's there. They don't check. They don't open it. They don't give a shit about this. But the problem is when you're going to do your uh, window security, <coughs> your window security will say, oh, another uh, service is in, uh, taking care of your security. It's the stupid Norton that it's pre-installed on your uh, laptop, brand new laptop or mini PC. 
They should not put the, those crap. Remove it, delete it. That's the problem, okay? People doesn't know they bought the retro bees and the stupid Norton is removing files from my retro bees, okay? And of course, some game will not work. So rem remove any uh, pre-installed Norton or name it uh, uh, security software. If you really need it, because it's your, I know some people say, oh, it's my PC, I do what I want, I put security. Yeah, you can put uh, 100 security apps. Just do an, ex an exception on my drive for your uh, security apps. Do not scan my drive, okay? Because after the uh, people will cry, uh, oh, the game doesn't work. Yeah, because Norton or whatever, remove uh, one file on one game and it doesn't boot. All right? Take care, guys. RetroBeast is the best. Um, and it's available at chriscoolmod.com. Thanks for watching. See you later, alligator. Ciao, guys.